So my friends, I start a video about this, one of my favorite elements, motif Daphne, with really fantastic design. I really like to use these elements for any project. It can be dress, skirt, summer top. Uh, so I will take three threads together and we will start. For our beautiful summer top, we should create eight motifs like this. And I'm using my favorite crochet hook, 1.75 millimeters, and a really incredible thread, white viscose, three threads joined together. And don't forget to leave tail around 25 centimeters or 30, in such a way it will be easier to hide this tail after when we will finish this element. In the beginning, uh, you can print out the scheme from our lesson, and uh, we will start. So first we will create six chain loops and join them to the ring by slip stitch. After two chain loops to move up and next we have single crochet stitches. Let's count how many? 10, 15. 15 stitches around the ring and slip stitch in the end of this row. Next we will start to make small arches. In total we will make eight arches. First uh, it has five chain loops. Next we have single crochet. Four chain loops and single crochet and like this repeat in the circle. Uh, below we should just leave uh, skip one stitch of previous row. Uh, next uh, from this point uh, we will start to make very beautiful small petals. And we have here single crochet, double crochet, treble crochet stitch, pico. It can be four or five chain loops, just you should make it very tight, not loose. And next again, treble crochet, double crochet and single crochet around the same arch. Next, like border between two petals, we should make one single crochet stitch to this one direct stitch of previous row. After repeat the same seven times more and finish by slip stitch here and from this point we can start to make this beautiful circle around uh, to do this uh, we will create 19 loops very accurate next single crochet to this because switching loops treble crochet to this stitch switching loops and single crochet to this pico and like this we will repeat several times more just in the end we should make single crochet and double crochet to the chain number six if we count from here yes we have three four five six and our hook will be here and we will start to create this really awesome part of element so let's work and now we need to make first uh, chain like this just take a thread make a circle just one one time catch this these two threads they cross each other here and don't forget about this long tail. Leave like this. And now yarn over and draw through this one loop on your hook. And in such way you can start. We have first chain loop, second, third, fourth, fives, and the last one. Six chain loops. Insert your hook to the first chain below two threads. And the next, catch everything. And make yarn over and draw through all these loops at once. Next, take all these threads together with tail to the right side and leave this tail here at the right side. Next, make this working loop again smaller. And this tail, it will, it will stay here and it will be better to work. So we have like first uh, chain loop to move up and I will make one more. In such a way, uh, we can start. Just I need to move this one thread by maybe by needle just here, I see that we need to uh, place the three threads together, yes, like this. And now we have uh, such beginning. Now we need to start to make single crochet stitches around this ring. First one, second one. Do not make them tight because we will use them next. So be careful. Three, four, five, six stitches. Seven, eight, nine. You can move them, yes, like this. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now we will join to the beginning of this row where we have two chain loops. So where we have this uh, two chain loops, insert below a few threads and make slip stitch like this 
So the first very small row is ready. Now we will start to make these arches. One, two, three, four, five chain loops. Skip one stitch of previous row and next take like this. Insert your hook to the next stitch and make single crochet. One, two, three, four chain loops. Skip one stitch and next insert your hook below two threads and make single crochet. One, two, three, four chain loops. Skip one stitch and make single crochet. Now we have three arches. So again, make one, two, three, uh, three, four, four chain loops. Skip one stitch, go to the next one and make single crochet. Now we have four arches and like this continue to work. Four chain loops, skip one stitch and make next single crochet. One, two, three, four chain loops, skip one stitch and make single crochet. One, two, three, four chain loops, skip one stitch and make single crochet. And the last arch, one, two, three, four, and make here single crochet and now we can start to work around the first arch just insert your hook below the arch make single crochet one time yarn over make double crochet stitch after two times yarn over make treble crochet stitch after one two three four four chain loops insert your hook below two threads and finish to make picot two times yarn over Again, around the same arch, make second half of this petal, treble crochet, double crochet, and single crochet, like this small petal we have. Next, uh, work, you can work to this stitch, or you can work around this all stitch, just I like like this to do, so I will do like this. Uh, it's not matter how you will make, just next, single crochet, double crochet around the same arch, two times yarn over, make treble crochet stitch after four chain loops one two three four and finish to make this um, because two times yarn over around the same arch make all these stitches and single crochet now again this stitch i like to make around this single crochet just once again single crochet and next start new uh, petal in such way i have really nice border between uh, these small petals. Now I will repeat the same six times more to create eight petals and after we will continue together with you. And now let's finish together this last petal. So I have treble crochet stitch, now double crochet and single crochet around the same arch. Next we need to fix this work, make a slip stitch. Here we can do this, make a slip stitch. And start to make this uh, arch as chain one, two, three, four, five, six, and three, one, two, three. Join to this picot, like by making a single crochet stitch. Uh, next, three chain loops one, two, three, two times yarn over, and to this single crochet stitch that we made between petals, insert your hook and make a treble crochet stitch. And be careful make it in the same level yes like you have this petal not too tight not too loose and i see that this chain is too big so i will try to make it more tight because it's too big it should be like one treble crochet so we have two three four five six this should be distance so it i will make five because i made very tight petals and turning will be three so in total eight chain loops and you also can uh, make it in your own way if you see that you have uh, more than you need these chain loops. So be careful, just three chain loops, two times yarn over. And now I want to make treble crochet within the same level. Yes, now it's okay. Three chain loops, join to the next picot, make single crochet stitch and such design is ready now repeat the same switching loops two times yarn over make a treble crochet stitch between petals there we have single crochets in previous row like this the length of the stitch is very important so be careful switching loops and join to the picot make single crochet again 
switching loops two times yarn over and make a, a treble crochet to the single crochet of previous row and again switching loops join to the next picot make single crochet stitch and again one two three two times yarn over and make a treble crochet stitch and like this i will continue to work i need to make a circle with such design and next we will continue to make beautiful element and now the last part like i told you previously we have here a double crochet stitch you see to this chain i made uh, five chain loops to move up not six because uh, it was better for this element for me right now and i will make like this one time yarn over and one two three four five to the chain number five insert your hook below two threads and make a double crochet stitch like this and from here we can start to work uh, we should make two chain loops and around this double crochet four single crochet stitches just around two three and now one more so we have four stitches around next we skip this chain go to the next part of chain and make also four single crochet stitches just around everything is simple here uh, next skip this picot go to the next part of chain and make uh, four single crochet stitches and once again skip one stitch go to this part and make around four single crochet stitches in total I, I made 16 stitches like this and now we should make arch from switching loops this will be first small corner of our square shape element and around this chain again the same four single crochet stitches skip this stitch and make again four single crochet stitches three and four like this skip this picot and make around this arch again four single crochet stitches skip this treble crochet and make around this arch four single crochet so again we have such straight line with 16 single crochet stitches and we need to create this corner from switching loops skip picot and make four single crochet again around the arch and like this we need to repeat in the in the end we should get four corners with switching loops so let's work and now the last corner we should make switching loops and join to the beginning of this row make a slip stitch after one chain loop to move up and now uh, we should work with this area we will use almost all these stitches to make again single crochet stitches but this time we will not touch the last stitch and also here we need to skip the first stitch so i start from here below two threads insert your hook and make again single crochet stitches step by step and use stitch of previous row all the time and make uh, such row with small stitches again in total we should make 14 single crochet stitches because we don't touch the first stitch and the last one previously we made 16 so minus 2 it will be 14 like this it works this scheme okay and we don't touch the last stitch yes we have like this design now at the corner everything is very simple switching loops single crochet around the first arch and again switching loops skip here first stitch join to the second one and make single crochet like this and such corner you will get uh, next again we are making step by step 14 stitches everything is really simple you need to insert your hook below two threads in each to each stitch of previous row and make again single crochet stitches all the time like this and after don't touch the last stitch yes like i told you and we are working again at the corner so switching loops join to the corner around the arch make single crochet switching loops skip first stitch and join to the next one and make again 14 single crochet stitches 
like this. I will continue to work and next we will talk about next row. Now the last arch I will uh, join here in the beginning of this row. Like this, we have on the scheme this point. And next, again, continue to make single crochet stitches. And uh, like always, don't touch the last stitch. In this way, each time in each new row, we will have smaller number of these stitches. Now three chain loops, join around this arch, we are working at the corner right now, now seven chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven, join to the next arch, make a single crochet round after three chain loops, and skip the first stage, you join to the second one, make single crochet like this, And now we should make 12 single crochet stitches along this part of element. And don't touch the last stitch also, yes? Now three chain loops, join around this arch, make seven chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven. Join to the next arch, make single crochet stitch, again three chain loops, Skip the first stitch, join to the next one, and make again 12 uh, single crochet stitches step by step. Everything is very simple. Insert your hook to each stitch of previous row. And like this, I will continue to work. Next, I will show you uh, next row with lazy picots. Now, I will finish this row just very simply on the scheme. You will see this. Three chain loops, skip one stitch, and now we start new row just by making this first single crochet stitch. Now, step by step again, single crochet stitches, and we don't tie the last stitch. And next, we will start to work at the corner, and I will show you how to create lazy picot. So, let's make a few more stitches. Next, three chain loops, one, two, three, join around this arch, make single crochet after one single crochet to this stitch of previous row next one uh, single crochet around the arch now lazy picot we should make five chain loops and just make another single crochet around the same chain and just by fingers you can pull this uh, chain to the right side and you will have lazy picot it looks like picot but it's not a, a standard picot Next, make one more single crochet and again lazy picot, three, four, five. You can use four or five chain loops, you can choose what you like better, depends what style of crocheting you have, and make one more single crochet. Now we have two lazy picots, and again four chain loops, uh, sorry, four, five, it can be four, just you can choose what you like better. First single crochet, second single crochet, and again one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet around this chain, and one single crochet to the stitch of previous row, and the last one around this small arch of previous row. Next, three chain loops, and skip one stitch, join to the next one, start to make this straight line with beautiful single crochet stitches. Don't tie the last stitch, again make three chain loops, single crochet around the small arch, single crochet to the stitch of previous row, single crochet around this big arch, and after lazy picot, from five or four chain loops, next make two single crochet around this big arch, move by fingers your lazy picot, and make again four or five chain loops, and next two single crochet stitches, and again make lazy picot and make two single crochet stitches around this big arch and once again in total we should make five, uh, four 
lazy picots. Next, join to the stitch, make single crochet, join around the small arch, single crochet, and after switching loops, skip one stitch and again start to make this single crochet stitches, this straight line. And like this, I will continue my work, and next I will show you next row. And now um, I will show you how to start next row. So from here, from this corner, we should make switching loops and join to this part again just by skipping one stitch and join to the next one and start to make all these single crochet stitches. And each time we don't tie the first stitch and don't tie the last one and that's all. It's not difficult at all and we are making very simple stitches here. Now at the corner what to do next? Again we start from switching loops, join around this chain, make single crochet. Uh, next, 7 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Skip first because and join to the next one, make single crochet like this. To the next pico also make single crochet. And after 17 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and single crochet around the arch. Next, switching loops, skip first stitch and join to the next one and make again this straight line with stitches. Just make each time single crochet and skip the last stitch. And now I will do the same at the corner, so first arch from switching loops, single crochet next 17 loops. I will repeat the same and next show you how to create next row. And I finish it to make the circle, yes, and here uh, just uh, when to uh, how to start this row, just switching loops and skip the first stitch again and very simple make this single crochet stitches. After we should work here at the corner, so switching loops, join around the chain, and now we start to make stitches and uh, again lazy picots. So single crochet to the stitch of previous row. Next one single crochet around this arch. After four or five chain loops for lazy picot and make two single crochet stitches around this chain like this. Move by fingers everything. And now again one, two, three, four, five and two single crochet stitches. And we have second a lazy picot and now once again four or five chain loops and two single crochet stitches just around the chain and we have three picots now one more one two three four five and single crochet around this chain now we will work in the middle to the stitch of previous row make single crochet to the next stitch also single crochet after go to this arch and symmetrically repeat the same start from single crochet next lazy picot make chain loops and after two single crochet stitches around the chain again one two three four five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the chain and again three four five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the chain and again one two three four five chain loops and single crochet around the chain and single crochet to the stitch of previous row we have here also four picots and now we can continue so first stitch to the stitch of previous row next one around the small arch and again small arch from switching loops skip one stitch and now make this straight line with single crochet stitches and that's all next in the circle we will repeat the same combination of stitches just look to the scheme and you will see this all also don't touch the last stitch now again start to work at the corner i will repeat the same lazy picots and single crochet stitches like we just did before yes and next i will show you the next row and now i started to make next row so I finish it by making one arch from switching loops and again I skip here one stitch and made, I just uh, made one, two, three, five stitches here. Now uh, we should work here, switching loops, single crochet around the arch. We will make arches right now, so seven chain loops next, three, once again, once again just 
three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one picot, join to the second one, make single crochet round. After to the next picot also, single crochet stitch. Next four chain loops. Now we will make puff stitch double crochet uh, to the next picot. One time yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot, yarn over, make a loop. Again, yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot, yarn over, make a loop. And once again, yarn over, insert your hook in the middle of picot, make a loop. Now we have uh, a lot of loops on the hook. Yarn over, draw through these loops. And you should have right now two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. In such a way we made double crochet, puff stitch double crochet. Next one, two, three, four chain loops. Now we will make the same stitch to the next picot of previous row. So don't forget you should make three times like this to prepare these beautiful long loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through these loops. And next we have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and finish to make the stitch. After again four chain loops, skip, uh, don't skip, join to the next picot, make single crochet. And to the next picot also single crochet. After make arch from seven chain loops join to the small arch make single crochet after make three chain loops skip one stitch join to the next one and make step by step four single crochet stitches like we have on the scheme and after again start work with the same corner in the same way uh, we need to make again arches two puff stitches like this so i will continue to do the same three times more and next we will talk about the last row of this beautiful element, Motif Daphne. And now I started the last row. So uh, we have here transition from the previous row, switching loops, skip one stitch and join here. I made three single crochet stitches. So I didn't tie the last stitch, switching loops, join to the arch of previous row, make single crochet. And now we will make a lot of stitches and a lot of lazy picots. So first uh, join to the stitch of previous row, make single crochet like this. Now work around this arch, make single crochet, next lazy picot from four or five chain loops. And after make two single crochet stitches around the same chain. Next again, five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the same chain. Now again, one, two, three, four, five. Five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the same chain. Now we have three picots on the scheme. We have four, so let's continue. Make five chain loops, single crochet two times around this chain. Now I will work with these stitches of previous row. Just make single crochet to each stitch. Now we go to the next arch. Uh, two single crochet stitches, lazy picot, three, four, five chain loops, single crochet. We have first lazy picot and we need to make two single crochet stitches. Next again, one, two, three, four, five, five chain loops. Make single crochet to the puff stitch of previous row. Next single crochet around the arch. Next one. Now again, lazy picot, one, two, three, four, five. Make two single crochet stitches around the arch. Now again, three, four, five chain loops single crochet around the arch and one more to the stitch of previous row to the puff stitch so in the middle we have two picots here at this side also and now we will make two picots here start let me see uh, from lazy picots so five chain loops single crochet first one second one around this arch next again five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around this arch. Next, uh, we need to join to the to these two stitches of previous row. Make two single crochet stitches step by step. After two single crochet stitches around this arch, now start to create picots, five chain loops, and two single crochet stitches. Again, one, two, three, four, five, five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the arch. And like this, continue to make three, four, five, five chain loops and two single crochet stitches around the arch. And uh, the last picot, five chain loops and 
two single crochet stitches to the next stitch make single crochet to the next arch make single crochet like this and now switching loops skip the first stitch join to the second one and here we will make only two stitches in the middle because we don't tie the first stitch and the last one now again we have this big corner with a lot of stitches and picots so i will repeat the same system three times more and next i will show you the last stitches we will cut this thread and finish our really gorgeous element daphna and i almost finished to make this element so i am working here at the corner number four i made four lazy picots now i need to join to this stitch next around the small arch after one two switching loops and join to this middle stitch here below two threads make slip stitch yes slip stitch and after one more chain i will make cut the thread just leave tail around uh, 20 25 centimeters and pull out like this and fix the yarn so uh, first tail i already hide second tail you can hide here where we have a lot of stitches just take needle with big eye and insert here between stitches in the middle of stitches and we should take some area around one one and a half centimeters and just draw this uh, needle in the same area just change direction and you will fix even such slippery thread very good if you will do like this three times in the same area and next you can cut the tail very close to the lace so now I have three times I can cut the thread and the last step we need to iron and stretch this element very very good just to see the real size of this motif it's very important because we need to create composition and we need to know what area we can close by using elements like this so we have here for example already ironed elements they are really incredibly beautiful very soft and gorgeous design you can see you should make eight motifs um, eight motifs like this for your composition so my friends thank you so much for watching this video i wish you like always beautiful results big inspiration easy work and see you in the next videos bye bye for now